What's up everybody, this is Red Tech Shoe, and I am continuing my LP of Dante's Inferno with part 5, right, Limbo 1. So, now we're going to go ahead and load this bad boy, and we left off uh, right here on Cliffside, and uh, that's where we're going to go pick up. We just uh, exited, we just got off of Karen's ship, and now we're about to head into Limbo 1, and we're going to meet all sorts of enemies in here, you know, as well as get a update on what Limbo is and the significance it has in the storyline. Alright, so here we are in Limbo, so let's go ahead and talk to Virgil. Beyond Limbo is the fallen King Minos, judge of the damned. But for those who remain in Limbo, the rest shall be sentenced to the circles below. Alright, so he mentioned uh, Minos is the judge who determines what circle of hell you go to. Uh, this is technically the first circle. Uh, those who remain in Limbo are more fortunate than the ones who actually get cast down in one, to one of the lower levels, uh, into one of the lower circles of hell. So right here we're looking at Karen's Ore and it says it requires Holy Level 3 to equip. The unique thing about um, relics and equipping them is that I can uh, that I don't have to actually manually do anything in order to use them. And right there in the back, you can see Minos. He picks up each individual soul and then judges them. So uh, the good thing about relics is, like I said, I don't have to manually use it, do anything, or use them. I just have to equip them. And once I equip them, I can I just collect souls and that's it. All right, so these charred minions are explosive; they self-destruct. So what I got to do is I got to grab them, throw them at the door, and then bam, that's it. All right, so in here, let's say hi to a familiar face. And when I said familiar face, I literally meant just the face. So, we can go upright to the door, but actually let's head behind Karen's head. There's something back here. Two things, as a matter of fact. We have another relic. Alright, the eyes of Saint Lucia. And... Another soul fountain. And this one contains a Beatrice stone. We collect all three Beatrice stones, and then we can immediately absolve the damned. No mini games, no button commands, no nothing. You know, it's just immediate, which is definitely useful. And so, let's go ahead and look at this. This one we can actually equip right off the bat. Uh, it says we have a chance of deflecting an incoming attack and negating the damage and pushing the enemy away from us. So, as you can see, level one is 10% level, and with each level we increase the percentage increases. So. I'm going to equip this one, and like I said, I don't have to actually do anything. As long as I keep collecting souls, I level it up. I saw a fire that overcame a half world of darkness. Alright, so this is what's known as an unbaptized baby. They're pretty easy to deal with, actually. Uh, just... It, either absolving or punishing them is really it's simple that and the good thing is when you grab one enemy the rest of them while you're doing something uh, they pretty much stand still and wait for you to go through the animation they don't in try to interrupt you but we're gonna be fighting a big group of them well not a terribly large group But we're getting pretty close to leveling up our holy uh, meter. As you can see, it's getting close to the top, and once it fills again, we'll unlock another level. So we gotta deal with these unbaptized babies. And I'm just testing out. The cross takes a long time to take care of them, so yeah, it's best to grapple with them and either punish or... Uh, absolve them. 
So I'm exploring around here, and here I have the attention span of a bird, and I pretty much is like, hey, a door, let's go through it. Not realizing that this is the door I came through. So I'm like, wait, wait, hold on, ah, oh, damn it, ah, oh, door sealed behind me. And I was hoping I'm like, that. please don't let me fight those kid children again. And it's like, sure enough, I didn't have to. So anyway, let's go over here and talk to Virgil one more time about what we just fought. The unblessed infants. Baptism they did not have. The one gate to the true faith was never shown to these newborn souls. Limbo shows no mercy for these babes. So yes, because they weren't baptized, they are condemned to hell. At least they're in limbo and they're not in any other form. Uh, they're not there in any other circle. Anyway, through the door here, we have a bit of a obstacle, if you can call it that. It's just jump over it. It's really not that hard. Alright, let's get all the fountains. Alright, jump on down. Open the door. And right there it nicked me just a little bit. But out here is another soul we have to either judge. We have to judge. And this is Electra. Electra killed her mother to avenge her father's wrongful death, and she suffers punishment, which is to finally know the wrath of God. So, for her, I chose to punish. And that leveled up our unho uh, Unholy. So now we're at Unholy level 2, and we've unlocked new abilities. Our sight didn't get any powerful, but at the very least... Now we have access to even more moves and abilities. And I'll purchase them later. Like, I don't have a, uh, a really... I don't have a whole lot of souls right now, so I'm just going to hold off on purchasing abilities for right now. And right there, those are the enemies that I forgot about that explode. There we go. Alright, so all the way up here... We're going to head outside as soon as we're done with this soul fountain. Alright, so for a little more about what Limbo is exactly, uh, it resides... Uh, uh, limbo, in Limbo reside the unbaptized and the virtuous pagans. So, so even though they weren't really sinful, they did not accept uh, Christ into their life. So pretty much that's what it is. Without baptism, they lacked the hope for something greater than the rational minds can conceive. And Limbo actually includes, uh, I know it's not portrayed here as a nice place, but according, but Limbo is a nicer place than any of the lower circles of hell. So, you know, it may not be, you know, they may not have found paradise, but at least they're better off than people, than others who are condemned to the lower circles. So that's pretty much what it means to be in Limbo. You know, it's like, yeah... I'm, I'm not the happiest, but at least I'm better off than er than almost everyone else. It's pretty much the mindset of Limbo. Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and deal with these guys. I screwed up the first minigame on this guy, so... I was too busy button mashing, and I forgot that I require it requires analog input. So right here, I'm just absolving and punishing babe infants, you know, I'm trying to level up my holy ability. And I get a bad nanny trophy, and I, I was laughing. Like, some of this stuff is actually pretty funny. So it, we're getting ready to go square off with Minos himself. However, we still have a few more things to do in here before we can go see him. In this place reside pagan souls and honored names which resound in your life above. Though denied paradise, they dwell distinguished from the manner of the rest. So yeah, just like I said earlier, you know, even though they're not in paradise, they're still far better off than anyone else uh, who's, who resides in the lower circles of hell. So yeah, this is pretty much, yeah... You know, for, for the people who aren't saved, Limbo is the best they can get. So, 
We're gonna destroy all these statues right here. There's not worth a whole lot of souls, but it's better than nothing, you know. Get as much as you can. Saladin, the legendary Kurd who reclaimed the Holy City, from whom even the brave Lionheart could not wrest it back. The forces of Saladin are routed. Dante, do you hear me? We have taken the city. Okay, so that story was referring to the Third Crusade in which King Richard tried to retake the city of Jerusalem from Saladin, and he was unsuccessful in his attempts to do so. So, this is implying that Dante managed, and his forces took the city of Jerusalem back, but in doing so, even though they had already won the battle, they still went on to slaughter all of Saladin's troops, you know, mercilessly. So... Here we are, uh, I'm going to get this uh, last mana fountain over here, and then I'm going to go ahead and save my game, and I'm going to end the video right here. And in the next video, we'll tackle Minos. So, we're just going to go ahead and save our game. Bam! And that is it, and I will see you all in the next video. This is Radtech Shoe, signing off.